Welcome back to The Wasteland, my friends. Thanks for clicking on this video. If you like Fallout Shelter, this is the video for you. We're going to be going over the second part of the new quests that were just released, and we're going to be looking at all the rewards at the very end. So, if you don't want to miss any of that, make sure you watch till the very end. Let's get right into it. Snipping coupons. Search the Super Duper Mart. Alrighty, pretty simple. Super Duper Marts are usually small, so we're going to easily destroy them. Ma June asked you to head to the nearby Super Duper Mart for supplies. Keep an eye open. You never know who or what you might run into there. This quest is pretty uneventful. There was not much to do other than just kill enemies. Pretty basic. And this Super Duper Mart was the biggest one I've ever seen. But I did put it on 10 times speed so we can get to the absolutely cool ending. Oh, salutations! How serendipitous! I thought I would be alone forever! Who, uh, what are you? I am Mr. Snip Snip. I have discovered some corn. Please allow me to accompany and it is all yours. Alright, cool. Well, we get some corn and Mr. Snip Snip. And he looks super, really, like, freaking cool, guys. Look how cool he is. Jeez. I like how he's dark. He's got the orange lights and then the little, um, what is, what is that? Like a medical symbol? I don't know how to describe that, but it's a dope symbol and we're going to have it in our vault. And I'm rich now. So as you can see, the new weapons that they added are craftable, as we just now found a recipe. And instead of finding individual recipes, we just find the entire theme recipe, which is very cool, and it's going to save us a lot of time. Here's another close-up of Snip Snip, our new Mr. Handy, and I believe he is unique. Next quest, Hooked on Tonics. Find the Snake Oil Salesman. The people of Philly are in dire need of medicine. There are rumors of a traveling Kim merchant wandering nearby. You should have no trouble tracking them down. Alrighty guys, if you haven't seen the show, um, like I said on the last one, I recommend not watching, but um, we don't want that guy to heal anyone. We really don't. But uh, let's go save him anyways. Much like the other quest, this one was pretty repetitive and all we really had to do was clear all the rooms out until we find the salesman. So I did cut some of this and speed it up to 10 times speed. There was nothing interesting here for you guys to see. Step right up, step right up. I've got the cure to what ails you. Cough, fever, fingers growing out of your chin. I can heal it all. Howdy there, stranger. What exactly can I help you with today? Philly was attacked by raiders. A lot of people are injured. Oh no, what are we standing around for? Grab my things and let's go. Alrighty, time to heal Philly with that stranger. Um, hopefully they don't got any chickens, and I hope our vault doesn't either when we collect them. At the end of this quest, I did end up getting some good things, as well as a new Trank gun. He's got the sleazy suit with charisma plus two and intelligence plus two. And as always, this is how it looks like on the ladies. Pretty cool outfit, I'm not going to lie, I kind of do like it. I'm never going to use it because it's sleazy, but still. Codename Dog. Investigate strange sounds at the Red Rocket. You passed by a rundown refueling station on your way back to Philly, and you heard odd noises coming from inside. What could it be? You won't know until you find out. Alrighty folks, it's time to find out. Come on, we gotta find that dog. Wilzig might not be enough. What? What are you looking at? Get out of here or there'll be trouble. No need for that. We can help you look for... What was it, a dog? See, we're based and chill. You got it? That's what you gotta have in the wasteland. The Brotherhood sent you, didn't they? That mutt's ours. They can't have him! Even though lore-wise I don't like the NCR, it is very painful to watch the NCR veteran rangers get killed, so I sped it up for y'all. That was very easy, and we got a very good reward, a legendary doggo. Let's go check him out at the vault. Astronomical aggression. Stop the NCR leader from using the weapon. Rewards? The best one yet. The Brotherhood is attacking the Griffith Observatory to recover a deadly weapon from the NCR. 
We don't know what it is, but it could be disastrous in anybody's hands. Go take care of it, for everyone's sake. Guys, check it out. We get our own new unique location, and this is one is, of course, the Griffith Observatory. We got the farms in the background, Los Angeles, or as the British say, Los Angeles, um, and it looks really cool. I really like the environment they did here. It's so nice, and I wish they would add more buildings in future updates, if we get future updates. Of course, we want them, and it would be cool to see new locations, because going to the same recycled location can get very dull. As you can see here, a really cool building, and there's even a few more new, unique rooms to this building. So let's go check it out. You're no Brotherhood soldiers. What are you doing here? We're here to help. Please let us pass. Your leader is making a big mistake. She has seemed strange lately. If you're here to help, then go help. Folks, here's a new room. It looks really cool. We even got an elevator in the very back. Or even just a doorway. We don't know. It looks like an elevator to me. And, uh, you know, like a little waiting area with a TV. I really like it. It looks cool. Here's another one fitting in with the color and aesthetic of this building. Pretty dope. This room is the same as the one with the rangers in it. But I wanted to show you guys it here. We got some cool little planets hanging off. Because, again, this is an observatory. And I just really like the aesthetic of this room. It matches with the other rooms that are unique to this building. Really cool. Vault dwellers, you made it through alive. We know about the weapon. We're here to help. Go then. It should be clear past here. We'll hold this point. Oh, we found this. You might be able to use it for your vault. Dope. We got this. And my guy is uh, questioning the Matrix. Come any closer and we'll send you into orbit. We don't want anyone to get hurt. We just need to talk some sense into your leader. The reason I'm saying that, even though they're like way outnumber us and armored, is because uh, we're Vault Dwellers and we're going to destroy them. Okay, she doesn't need to hear anything from you. Alright, bro, you're dead. Bink. Stop! Don't come any closer! You're about to ruin everything! The Brotherhood's archaic ideals and paranoia won't stop me. They won't stop us from rebuilding. Rebuild? You're about to cause irreparable damage. This is the only way back to something good. I won't let anyone stop that. If you guys do want to nominate me for an Oscar, go ahead and do so because my voice acting is uh, it's pretty unmatched. Strength 4, Perception 2, Endurance 4, Charisma plus 2, Scarred Power is an absolute unit of an item. And not to mention just how sick it looks. Check it out guys, we can make Lucy's Vault Suit, pretty dope. As well as we unlock the last theme recipe, the Living Quarters. Going to the theme room and unlocking them, this is what they cost. Very, very simple and easy to make. You're not going to have to spend, like, anything, really. While those are getting crafted, let's use this beautiful model to show us the power armor. Look at that. Scratches and everything. I really love how this power armor looks, and it's got a really cool helmet. And, of course, it looks amazing with the helmet off. Before we continue on with this video, let's hear a word from our sponsor. Oh, I'm so thirsty. If only there was something in this wasteland that was... Healthy, nutritious, and kept me on my feet. Whoa! Hey! Waste Lord's whiskey! It's not actually whiskey, but it keeps you energized, on your toes, ready for action, and most importantly, keeps your noggin working when you're out in the wasteland. So, if you love me, Waste Lord, and you love nutrition and flavor, be sure to give Waste Lord's whiskey a try. Because it is popping! Alrighty, time to check out our new items. Trank gun. Sometimes it's better to leave a target breathing. Not sure when, but I assume it's sometimes. 
T60 pistol. Use with appropriate augments to avoid self-maiming. Hey, that's a pretty good advice right there. Mare's leg. Big boar bang in a compact package. Brotherhood of Steel casual. Some light work wear for a squire on the go. Ma June jacket. Don't look for whoever is in this to get up to clutch their pearls. Chances are, they're already holding a rifle. Sleazy suit. Wearing this makes you look and even feel, somehow, less trustworthy. Lucy's vault suit. Lucy's personalized vault 33 suit, complete with survival enhancing rucksack. And this one is really cool, I really like the backpack and the pit boy on it. Scarred Powermer. A supercharged Yao Guai could barely scratch the surface. And this is a very great outfit, guys. That's going to be one of my mains. And the Ghoul's Coat. Strike a sinister silhouette in this rugged but well-worn trail coat. Really cool. And I just, I love the aesthetic of this one. CX-404. A highly trained ex-enclave operative specialized in snoofs and barks. And you get plus 39% XP with mine. This one just says XP, so it is a random chance for whatever to vary. Lucy. And then special stats right there. Ma June. Maximus. Snake Oil Salesman. And of course, the Ghoul. Folks, going over to the weapon crafting station, there's one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. And then um, I believe it is 11 weapons that we can make. Because I already did get a recipe. So there's 11 new weapons to make. And 9 new outfits to create. Because I did already have Lucy's um, vault suit that I collected. Alrighty folks. Let's check out the cafeteria. As you can see it's a very rustic like farmhouse kind of a country little diner now. And I absolutely love how this looks. Nails the vibe of Vault 33. But it even like it goes beyond that and just makes it feel like you're like in a, the countryside you know this is such a cool diner and i'm honestly i love the minutemen they're my favorite faction they're the best faction but i'm actually going to start maining this one because i just love how cozy it feels i would love to go eat some food there it's so beautiful let's check out the living quarters my god look how good this guy is guys we got hay corn everywhere lots of corn so i mean snips was right we do got corn everywhere and we got wagon wheel and a pitchfork. I'm trying to look in the inside. We got a barn door to close it on. Like a milk jug kind of thing. And just look how cozy this looks. I love the little lamps on the ground and then the little string lights. This is such a cool place. And I absolutely love it. As you can see, we do got a radio though from someone. We're going to have to go see who needs our help. Folks, no one needs our help. It's just me, Waste Lord. And I wanted to say thank you so much for watching this video. If you got to the end, you're an absolute unit. You're so cool for watching this and I really appreciate it. Thank you so much. I can't stress it enough, um, I got tons of views on my other video about this new update and I just wanted to say I really, really appreciate it. You guys have no idea how much it means to me. And uh, with all that said, if you want more Fallout Shelter content, you know I'm going to be producing it. If you want that ghoul gun, I do too guys, we got to find that. Everyone we got to get collectively together and work on finding that. Thank you all so much for watching and may the wasteland treat you with peace and prosperity.